How are you? I am great. She's nervous. Tell us who you are, please. My name is Summer Rios. I'm from Brunswick, Ohio. I'm trying to make music a thing and try to put myself out there and not have so much anxiety. And Summer, how old are you? I'm 19. Okay, and are you in college or do you have a day job? Yeah, I actually am a manager at Pizza Hut, so I make pizzas for a living. <laughs> how long have you been there? I've been there for about a year. Did work with my ex at one point, but he's no longer in the picture, so. <laughs> and do you hope he's watching this now? I hope he's not. <laughs> and if he was? Hello. Hope you're doing well, I guess. No, not really. <laughs> That's great. So now it's just me, so I'm working a lot of morning to closes, trying to like still pay my bills and stuff, and I'm hoping that this will get me out of pizza cutting and pizza making. <laughs> Come on now. We all have to start somewhere. Okay, we're rooting for you. Come on, Thank do it. Thank you, I appreciate it. You know, Summer, I think you should be doing this more than slicing pizza. Thank you. I feel like we've just got a peek at what you can do, and you needed to open this door a crack, and you've opened it more than a crack to just take off. I loved it. To me, you sounded a little bit like you swallowed Rihanna. You have a beautiful, beautiful tone in your voice. I think it was absolutely incredible. Your voice is spectacular. You belong on a stage. Don't waste more time. Live your best life. Don't be scared anymore. Summer, what a great, great choice of song. I think every single person in this room wanted you to do well. Yeah, we all like you. Hi, Pluto. This is Simon. This is Simon. Yeah. yeah. Her voice is amazing. Yes. And you have other. 
Yes, I'm Father. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, does Putri have a step in the song? Yeah. Yeah. You want to sing for Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to sing it for you? <laughs> yes, thank you. The song is special for you, Simon. Well, thank you. Actually, I can be here now. <laughs> it was amazing. Thank you. They're going crazy for you. Thank you so much. Well, I think you're 17. You write songs. You've got an amazing, distinctive voice. Thank you and so I'm, much. I mean, really, really good. You have a kind of a, a glow about you. I don't know whether this is going to make a difference or not. However, he's standing up. The shark spirit will climb it down. I'm going to send the flood, going to drown the night. This is brave, this is bruised, this is who I'm meant to be, this is me. I'm 14. Are you singing for us? Yeah, I'll be singing. And what got you into music? Uh, 
my dad, I guess, uh, when he was like, he turned 40, he was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna be a rock star. We were all like looking at him like, okay, yeah, sure. And so then, you know, he started taking lessons. He really lessons. did do this. I, I think he was having like a midnight uh, crisis. Like a guitar, but I've just been, you know, singing ever since I was like two. Amazing. Well, why did you come on AGT? Uh, I've been watching the show for so long, <laughs> and I wanted to come here so that I could share my music with the world, and uh, I just, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, we're excited, too. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Don't you bore to cry for an impeccable style. I got chills. Don't ever let them steal your choice and your gentle ways to keep them from running wild. They can kick dirt in your face, dress it down. Tell you that your place is in the middle when they hate the way you shine. song to choose you're the entire package and I just want to keep hearing you sing Gabrielle you came out here your complete authentic self let your voice do the talking and you connected with all of us incredibly talented and I love the denim on denim moment <laughs> I like it <laughs> Howie from the moment the song started it built and built and built and I went how good is this gonna get and it got Great. Oh my God, You're amazing. You. Simon. I tell you what, for anyone who hasn't been on that stage, and you walk on there, it's terrifying. And I could see yeah. how scared you were, nervous you were, yet you pulled it together. Something about you. And for some reason, you remind me of the very first time I auditioned Harry Styles, which was he had this presence about him. I think you are a real find. Thank you so much. Really? Great. Right? All right, let's take a vote. Gabrielle. I mean, it's America's Got Talent, and you're loaded with talent, so it's a yes for me. Oh, my God. Howie. Yes. I will give you your third yes, Simon. Benicio. You got four yeses. How old are you? My name is Michaela Phillips, and I'm 15 years old. Fifteen? So you're still in school? Yes. Who are you here with today? I'm here with my mom, my dad, my brother, and the rest of my friends and family are in the audience. Aww. So I'm guessing you, you're going to be singing for us tonight? Yes. Well, good luck. Thank you. Take back the light inside your soul. 
Incredible. Thank you so much. I mean, I love the whole package. I love your smile. I love how you project to everyone. Your voice is incredible. You know what I'm going to do for you? I've got to tell you, I shut my eyes and listened to you saying that was not the same person. <laughs> that shouldn't have been you. But you know what, that's a really difficult song to sing. You've got amazing presence, great confidence. This is what this show is all about. Good for you. Thank you so much. The man, the man. All right, let's go, let's go celebrate. Hi, Angelina. Hi. So nice to meet you. You won Norway's Got Talent oh. in 2014. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us, how old were you when you won? I was seven years old. You were seven years oh, old. You. So you are now 13. I'm 13, yes. You are 13. <laughs> yeah. I've waited 10 years to sing for Simon, and I'm oh. finally... <laughs> oh, really? Yes. So wow. us three have what nothing to do with what's going on no, tonight? No, we don't. <laughs> what, is it, what is it about Simon? He's just amazing, and he's a legend. <laughs> He is. He is a legend. Yeah, he is. Well, Angelina, I wish you good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Can you just come up to the mic like you're going to be here? Yeah.
something really special, a star, and as they would say in Norway, Jai Elskadai. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you too. And I think this moment, this time on stage, this song, this performance is going to change your life and your career forever. I believe that. Yeah. Everything about tonight felt like it came from you. The arrangement of the song, the simplicity of it. I've never heard that song in that version before. Seriously, this was an amazing performance. Finally, you guys have finished talking. You have no idea how hard it is for me to sit here to wait for you guys to jibbity, 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 because this was so amazing. Seriously, when my parents got divorced, and it was really hard for me, and music helped me so much. Now we want to see your act. Good luck. Thank you. Oh! 
talked about how you know you've had a lot of pain in your life and you used music to make you feel better and you know if you move somebody emotionally I think that's the best thing music can do and I think that's what you just did thank you I can feel this is very overwhelming for you right but when you watch this back you're gonna know how much of an amazing job that you just did Considering all the nerves and everything else, you were really, really good. So just take in this moment. That was great. How old are you, 13 years old? I think you've got a great voice. This is one of my favorite auditions of today. I do. Thank you so much. I mean, you've made my goosebumps have goosebumps. <laughs> The truth is, you know, we don't get many people like you for a reason because they're hard to find. And genuinely, I'm excited because I think you are a, a really, really, really talented person. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really, really loved what you just did. To me, you feel like there is an old soul inside of that little 13-year-old body. And I really, really loved it. And I loved it so much that I'm going to hit the gold. Welcome to America's Got Talent All-Stars. Thank you, thank you so much. Who are you? Uh, my name is Karen Montero. I'm 17 from the Dominican Republic. And wow, from the Dominican Republic. I'm the winner of Dominicana's Got Talent 2021. Wow. <laughs> this was my first time in a stage like that. She just imagine in your head, oh my God, I want to win. Yeah. Oh my God, that's my name. You are not hurting. There's never been a moment you are forgotten. You are no hope. You have been broken, your innocence stolen I hear you whisper underneath your breath I hear your hands, oh, hands, your hands, oh, hands Underneath your 
Just then in this competition. Thank you. You have such a powerful and beautiful voice. You sound amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I, I love the range of when you're very soft spoken to being able to belt, belt it, it out. out. You made your country and your family very proud of you. Thank you so much. Simon? Honestly, the, the talent we're seeing from all over the world this year, it's actually quite astonishing. Mm -hmm. So if you want my honest advice, it is that when you come on a show like this or anything, you've got to find a song and you've got to turn it into your unique version. I liked it, but I think sometimes you've got to do something no one's ever done before. Okay. But I really like you. You're very humble. You're very... I'm being... Look, I'm... I'm trying to be constructive. Okay. I really, Thank really you. like it. Thank you so much for bringing me in. And good luck. Thank you so much. Thank too. you so much. Best of luck. Bye. Thank you so, so much. It's Beautiful. It's a pleasure to, to know you like you. Donald. <laughs> Last time you were on America's Got Talent, you were 10 years old. Yes. How old are you now? I'm 18 now. <laughs> All grown up. <laughs> yeah. I remember standing on the stage next to Michael Grimm, and I really felt like America was on my side. Michael Grimm! It was certainly a night of surprise and disappointment for Pittsburgh's own Jackie Ivanko, as Jackie learned that she was not the winner, and Michael Grimm took home the grand prize. When I didn't win, I, at the time, was assuming that I was going to be just going back home to my normal life, playing with my pets. But my life completely changed after America's Got Talent. I was performing all over the place, Japan, Russia, London. Please welcome Jackie Evanko. As a 10-year-old, it was crazy. Not often a 10-year-old can capture the attention of millions of people around the world. I was able to record a bunch of albums that actually went platinum and gold. I'm the youngest solo singer to go platinum. Jackie Benko may just be the next big thing. You don't know how many times people have been, you won. I'm like, no, I didn't. <laughs> but thanks. <laughs>
Welcome home. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be back. <laughs> Mel. I mean, you have the voice of an angel. I'm sure you've been told this many, many times. It's Thank just you. stunningly beautiful, as are you to look at. Thank too. you. Uh, you know, we do have people, you know, they come on the show as kids and then for whatever reason over time they lose whatever they had in the first place. But you've actually got better. Oh, uh, in my definition, you. that is a champion. That was outstanding. Thank you so much. Really. Thank you. You know, you exemplify exactly what this show is. You know, people show up on America's Got Talent, I'm sure the Got Talent's all over the world, with hopes and dreams of achieving a career, and that all happened. And I gotta tell you, tonight was truly amazing. I hope you're one <laughs> of the two that America votes through. All the best, young lady. Thank you so much. Performance, you. you wowed the judges. Isn't it amazing what she's done since she, she was album. on the show? I Hello. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. And who are you? My name is Jaina Brown. And how old are you, Jaina? I'm 14. Oh, wow. Oh. And Jaina, who is the person you look up to most? Uh, my mom. Really? Yeah. Oh. Whoa, that's your baby out there. And Jaina, what are you going to sing? I'm going to be singing Summertime. Great song. Good luck. I think she's going to do really well. You think so? Started, you went into your own zone and took us right there with you. Well done. You got on the water bro. <laughs> you are fearless. You are fabulous. I mean, you had everyone on their feet. I loved it. Thank you. You know, it's really interesting. You're a 14-year-old little girl. <laughs> There's so much poise and so beyond your years and so beautiful and Thank so classic. So Why did you choose that music? My mom, you know, she had me listen to, like, Diana Ross and The Temptations, and I grew up on a lot of old stuff, so... Gina, I didn't like that. I loved that. Thank you so much. I also like the fact that you understand why artists in the past are important to what you're doing now. Because I think if you're not interested in some of the greats, then it's very difficult to become a great person yourself. I love your voice, but most Thank importantly, you. you've got that confidence. Really, one of my favorite auditions. Thank you. You got a vote now. Absolutely, yes. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. You got four big, but yes.
how old are you? I'm 16 years old. 16 years oh, wow. old. Yeah. Wow. And what what is your dream? Uh, my dream is to win America's Got Talent. <laughs> As a singer? As a singer, yes. Who do you compare yourself to? I don't compare myself to anyone. I That's think good. I'm, yeah. As Simon always says, he looks for somebody who's original, somebody who we can hear something we've never heard before. Is that what we're about to hear? Hopefully, yes. I hope so, too. I like the whole look. It's like a little Audrey Hepburn. Oh, it thank you. Um, my hair wasn't really, like, my choice. Um, I'm a survivor of stage 3 ovarian cancer. No way. Yeah. I kind of came here today to show people that no matter what you've gone through, to keep chasing your dreams. Oh, what a great message. Wow, you're an inspiration. We can't wait to hear you. Good luck. Thank you. It's going to be okay. <laughs> gone through an obstacle far greater than anybody much older than you could even imagine going through. And then you come to this point and you make choices and you made the choice of singing that song. Mm -hmm. And that's your fight song. Yeah. And it was so heartfelt and so inspirational. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. It was amazing. Your tones and the, the way that you fell off the note was just on point. Couldn't have gone any better for you, I don't think. Thank you. You do have a beautiful voice, and I can't believe that you're only 16 years old. I mean, Thank it's incredible. You. Well done. Thank you. Calistus, I love everything about Thank you. Thank you so much. Just, you know what? I just had this feeling when you walked out, I can't explain it. Just your spirit, the choice of song, your voice. Uh, I think you're really special. Thank I've just you. got this really incredible feeling about you. Thank you I so really much. do. That means so much coming from you. Thank you. It means a lot coming from Simon. Yeah. I think everyone in this room felt it. And I think that, look, you were nervous. I could hear that. Um, but, you know, you get past this stage, I predict great things are going to happen for you. There's something about you. Thank you. Sorry, I've got to do this. And we'll rock. Yes. <laughs> how did you get into how did you get into music? What what inspired you to to pick up a guitar? Um so my dad used to play the guitar for me 
uh, just one song that he knew. And um, I started singing when I was really little. My parents heard me singing in the car along to the radio, but I was on tune. And I was kind of singing in Baby Jabber because I didn't know how to talk yet. Oh but, my gosh, so you were really little. Yeah. <laughs> what inspired you to come here and, and share your talent with America's Got Talent? So my family has an eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa, or RP for short, where you lose um, vision until you are fully blind. And so I'm the only one in my family right now who doesn't have it. Um, my little sister told me that she wanted to see me on the biggest stage in the world before it's too late and her vision's gone. So oh. um, I've oh. worked really hard to get here and it's been crazy. <laughs> wow, that's unbelievable. How old's your sister? She's nine. Wow. And where is she today? She's right there. Ah. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, we can't wait to he hear you sing. Thank you. Uh, just out of interest, are you going to sing an original song or a cover? I'm singing an original. And what's it called? Um, one Way Ticket to Tennessee. Can you tell me what it's about? It's about all the support my parents have given me for chasing my dreams to be a country singer. Okay, so this could be your ticket to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, I've got a good feeling about you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Daddy always tells me to follow my dreams. He says I can go far if I don't care what people think. And if I want to be a star, the king is working hard. Yeah, that is how you become your daddy's country sweetheart. Took my one way ticket, I can hardly breathe. One one way ticket, next stops the Grand Ole Opry. One one way ticket, it's time to chase my dreams. One one way ticket to Tennessee. Firecracker, aren't you? That's your sister. Sophia. I enjoyed it very much. I love your boots. Actually, Eric helped me pick boots like that. <laughs> and uh, I love how you look. I love your country look. I love that you play the guitar, that you write your own songs. Thank I can't you. wait to see what the future is going to bring for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you've got um, great style, i got to tell you. Um, it's very authentic. And you're from Utah? Yeah. Um, is that where your family originally from? Uh, yeah. I'm only asking because your voice sounds as if you were from Nashville. <laughs> Thank when you. When you sing. Yeah. Sounds very authentic to me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I love artists, particularly people your age, who know what kind of lane they want to go down. This was very, very clear. You know where you want to go. And I think we can help you get that. Thank you so much. Uh, let's take a vote. Howie. Yeehaw! That's a yes <laughs> in country music. Thank you. Yes for me. Yes for me. Yes for me. Thank you. That means four one-way tickets to Tennessee. Thank from you us. so much. Well done, What's your name? My name is Christian Guardino. And Christian, how old are you? I'm 16 years old. Okay. Tell me, tell me who you're here with, Christian. Um, my mom's here with me. Okay. What do your school friends say about you coming on the show? I only told like a few people, like my very best friend. Your very best friend. Yeah. Okay. Are you a singer? Yeah. 
And tell me when you first started singing, Christian. Um, I've been singing for as long as I can remember. Okay. I have a good feeling about you. Uh, we've got rid of the nerves now. We've got to know each other, right? Yes, sir. Okay, Simon, not sir. Sorry, Simon. <laughs> okay, Christian, best of luck. Thank you. Christian, I need 10 seconds here because I've actually, I don't know what to say right now. I mean, what just happened? And then if you can make one wish right now, this second, to make something come true for yourself, what would you wish? Right this second? Yes. Probably the golden buzzer. <laughs> Well, your wish just came true. So open your eyes and see the way the me. And then if the lights will lead into the night with me. Oh my God, that was amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. What do you do? Do you sing? I sing. I love singing. You love music? Mm -hmm. Is it something you do as a hobby? Does it make you feel good? I feel like my experiences really connect me to like music. I just, I, I love it. What is your experience that... Uh... I was raised in Dominican Republic until I was four years old. So when I came here, I didn't know a word of English. Really? And I got bullied a lot. So um, oh. all that kind of gave me tough skin. I just want to ask a question. And I, I do hear this a lot, unfortunately. You got bullied. What got you through that whole period? I think it was really music and my mom. Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. You ready to wow us? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, young lady. Okay, thank you. Best of luck.
say to all those bullies. Are you a singer? Yes. Yes. And have you been doing this for a long time? Well, my mom always liked to sing, and, you know, she saw that I liked it, too, so she helped me practice and pick out the songs, and here I am. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. <laughs> Are you nervous? I don't know. I just see so many talented people, and, you know, just... <laughs> She's gonna do great. I feel it. All you gotta do is sing the song that you picked out, okay? Thank you. All right.
How do you feel now? Relieved. <laughs> Heidi? You are born with such a gift. It is unbelievable. I could not stop smiling like you put me in the best mood. Wow. Loved it. Thank you. Simon. That didn't just happen. <laughs> Honest to God, you came out like a jelly. I didn't think you were going to be able to talk. <laughs> and then I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, if she starts to sing, this is not going to work. And then that just happened. I have never heard anything like that in all the years I've been doing this show. Seriously. Thank you. It, it was unbelievable. Wow. wow. Here's Simon Favet. And what made it even better is the fact that you are such a sweet person, so humble, not even aware of how amazing you are. Thank you so much for coming on this show. Uh, that was really, really, really special. Amazing. You literally made all my hairs stand up on, on end. And you're only 13 years old. And you know what? I think that this show is going to completely change your life. And I'm going to change your life right now. about you what is your name my name is Dylan Zangwill Dylan where are you from I'm from Exton Pennsylvania and what are you going to do here tonight at AGT I'm gonna be singing and playing piano and how long you been doing this I've been doing this all my life how old are you I'm 14 wow. I mean uh, you're 14 years old yep and how's it been at school you know with everyone or do you keep it a secret that you sing or do they support you I mean People know I'm a singer and a musician, but I'm never really, you know, openly talking about it, so. Because? Uh, you know, I like hearing what other, what other people are doing, and, you know, I'm not a big <laughs> fan of talking about myself all that much. <laughs> okay, we're so happy that you're here. Go ahead. It's time. All right, Pop. Each morning I get up and I die. Can barely stand up on my feet. Take a look in the mirror and I cry. Lord, what you doing to me? I spell my years and leaving you, but I just can't get over. Can anybody find 
you so much. What a surprise! <laughs> you feel like a sweet boy and then you sit down there and become like this... <gasps> like... <laughs> powerful voice. That was amazing. I really loved it. I want to know about how we think. For me, I got connected to the joy. You just, you're the happiest place you can be is right there performing for us. Thank you so much. Heidi, what did you think? I loved it too. It was amazing. In the same night with you, you can see how comfortable and how much you enjoy playing and singing. Do for you everybody. write your own songs too? Yes, I do. Mm, that's fun. That was great. Simon, what did you think? It, it was just a great audition, uh, Dylan. Uh, I think you're really, really good. I think you are definitely, definitely something to watch. And I think, actually, there's a lot more to come from you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna start voting. I'm gonna give you your first yes. Heidi, yes. Howie. Yes. Simon. Four yeses. You're in. Thank you so much. Like, I do think he's one of those people. The less rehearsed he is, the better. Be Simon Cowell. He has made many, many stars. And he loves you. <laughs> what does that mean to you? I just can't believe it. <laughs> Welcome to who are you? I'm Flage. That's a cool name. Where are you from? I'm from Savannah, Georgia. And how old are you? I'm 14. I'm 14? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, and who are you here with today? I'm here with my mom. So why have you decided to come on America's Got Talent? First off, I'm a rapper. I rap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I started off because before I was born, my father, he was a rapper. Yeah. And um, he died before I was born, so he couldn't really fulfill his dream. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm here to do. For him. Good. And this is something which you've written yourself? Yes, I wrote it. I was scared. I was like, I don't know if I should put this out because I don't know if they're ready yet. <laughs> well, if you feel passionate about it, yes. this is exactly what you should be doing. Yes. Okay, so good luck with rooting Thank for you. and so honest, and you're only 14? Oh, I love you. Thank you. I love you. I do. So much. Well, even though I don't know a lot about rap music, I do know talent. And right now, I believe 
We are witnessing the start of somebody's career big time. Oh my God. I really do. I genuinely do. This has been my favorite audition by a clear mile oh today, Blojo. We're gonna vote on this. Let's do it. Howie? I hope America all puts their guns down yeah. and spends time voting for you, so it's a yes. No. A definite yes from me, yes! Ready? Definite yes. Yeah. Okay, Floche, get ready for the next round, because you got four yeses. Yeah. 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 Hey, come here, you. That was incredible. Honestly, incredible. Like I said, I don't know a lot about rap music. I think what you just did there was so important and fantastic. I'm thrilled for you. Thank you. I thought one of you was going to hit it. I thought one of you was. <laughs> Thank you so much. Love you too. I'm worried about you. <laughs> <laughs>Sounds of the season. I love this game. So you're gonna give me a sound and I have to guess what it is, where it came from? I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. Feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. Mr. Cherry, I love him. Yeah! <laughs> it was hard. What word do you think he's thinking of and vice versa? What do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're going to say that word out loud. Clear your mind. OK. This is a mind reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. OK. okay. Read her mind. Three. Two, one. Earrings! Earring and shoe. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Not push! Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick! <laughs> this is freaky! <laughs> Lipstick! Feel <laughs> the power. Word? You have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. This is absolutely amazing. How were the boys? Uh, but they haven't done them yet. Oh, they're going to be a mess. They're not going to be great. They're going to be a mess. Gonna be gonna be a mess. I know. <laughs> Three, two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome. That was not, by the way. This is crazy. I handsome. swear on my life, that was not prep. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold on to you. They always ask me what I'm looking for in a golden buzzer. They always ask me that. And I'm sure you're asking me that. You're not even, you're just watching. But I could tell by how you're watching, you're asking. I don't know. I like being surprised. And I'm really, really curious to see after what everyone went through in 2020, what it's going to be like in 2021. It's really hard to explain. It's something that suddenly moves you, that suddenly you think that there's uh, nothing that is going to compare to it or it's something that maybe you think it's worth of people seeing it becoming, you know, better and better through the competition. When it calls me, it just calls me. There, there, there have been certain things that I was like, uh, 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 and it's like, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But hopefully it will be, you know, a variety act, like something different because I would just love, you know, for someone else to have a shot this time. Surprise me. Surprise me. We're going to see some special moments this year. And I have a good feeling.
mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord, I mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> you know how that show works? Get somebody who's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra, and baby panties, and wear you on a scale, and for cattle, on national TV. <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> The first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. How did I get into this? How do I make noises? I don't know. I grew up making noises. I can't stop it, man. <laughs> when I was growing up, I lived next to an active runway. My father was in the Air Force. So that meant every few seconds... <laughs> that was me. My mom wasn't prepared for that. Why is the six-month-old baby making noises? <laughs> now, later on in life, I learned that these sounds can get you in trouble. I'll give you an example. On an aircraft, this is what I did. Not allowed to do this. <laughs> Don't do that on a plane, man. If you go, they're gonna think it's real. I did that. <laughs> Freaking cart! Ow! Don't do that. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey y'all, it's Molly Cyrus, what's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> You do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? Yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. What? Do it. <laughs> do it. All right. I will do an impression, yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay. All right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? You are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. No. It's cheap. It's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot. <laughs> Come on! All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. In what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos taco. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> and 
I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, try, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh! Oh! Yes. Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you are a victim. Supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked in my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blissed, right? <laughs> Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that was that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You alive? You are blessed, you know. And I'm I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, <laughs> who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One. Like, who's doing that? <laughs> My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right? Right? Okay. So my daughter turns 16 and she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you're 16. Listen to yourself. A hotel room. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, I mean, really. <laughs> When I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24-7. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. Okay? <laughs> right? So, I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask. Right? Howie? Right. I'm not going to get on a bus full of first graders sober. Not, not, not ever. Okay? <laughs> I take out my flask. You know, I have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask. <laughs> you know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? <laughs> I'm like, calm down, biatch. <laughs> I'm not driving this bus. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what it's like when someone that looks exactly like you calls you up and goes, I feel so ugly. <laughs> That is our face. <laughs> you know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. 
Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Just uh, making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'll be like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't wanna get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me, I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world, went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Oh. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. <laughs> I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. I applied to work at the Coco Foundation when I was in college, uh, and they rejected me because I have hearing loss. But they, <laughs> yes, boo, the Coco Foundation. Uh, they, told, they told me I was a liability issue because if the gorilla were to sneak up on me, I would not be able to hear it, which I can't say with any degree of certainty, uh, <laughs> but probably that seems true. Um, so you guys seem like a nice crowd full of hearing people, so I'm just gonna <laughs> toss this question out to the room. Um, what are y'all gonna do different if a gorilla sneaks up on you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, I would love to know. Um, <laughs>
That makes a lot of sense. DM me after the show. I'm just desperate to know what home field advantage y'all have uh, <laughs> with your two-second head start. Ridiculous. Nothing. Nothing. The only thing you're going to do different than me is die scared. That's it. Um, Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> It's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. <laughs> oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> It defies statistics. Sometimes the statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> Give it up for my dad. Gerald Kelly, the comedian. I love that dude. But he's a loser. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> oh my God. I'm seven years old, and we have the same job. <laughs> The other day, he was like, hey, yo, Hunter, are you going to work tonight? <laughs> if you going, I'm going. We have the same job. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up. There is a rope. What happened to the duct tape? There is the bleach. I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom. You raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. <laughs> I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs> I just got broken up with, it was an open relationship, it means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this, apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> you guys know, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover? 
than you. I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! No! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or a Simon? You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. <laughs> Listen. Listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene, all right? Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous, okay? <laughs> yeah. So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes over, he's like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now, all right? As soon as my son touched my finger, I knew I would die for him. I don't even know this dude, but I would die for my son. The first time I see him, the first time I touch him, I would die for my son. Isn't that crazy we do that, fellas? Yeah. That's right. Because we wouldn't do that for our wives. What? Oh, I'm feeling the heat from the women. Hey, hang on, hang on. Let me explain. Ladies, hang on. Hang on. Look, ladies, the first time we see you or touch you is usually on the first date. No dude in this world is dying for you on the first date. Now, let me make you feel better about the situation. If you're on a first date, and a dude looks at you and goes, I would die for you. You better run. Because that dude's about to kill you. But I would die for my wife now. 100%. It took a couple years, but we got there. That's right. If a car jumped the curb and was headed her way, I would push out of the way and take the hit myself. That's how much I love her. Because we've all dated people we wouldn't die for, right? That same car jumps the curb. You're like, shh, I guess it was their time. I guess it was their time. The Lord works in mysterious ways. I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions. And... Uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. Uh, I got colors and shapes down. I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it. You want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. 